Hello guys, welcome to episode 6 of our full playthrough of The Testament of Sherlock Holmes, I'm TJ, so, uh, it's been, nah, not too long since I did the last episode, oh, nice bread, I just noticed that, but, uh, let's get, do a quick recap of what happened in the last episode, uh, so we, we were able to, let's see what happened last time, what did I do last time? Sorry. So we were able to. Hmm. We continued to get something from the rat killer, uh, Hans Schielman. And. Let's see. Like, we helped them escape, but. Something that we discovered about the poison is that uh, the poison seems to be some sort of. I guess a mine has some sort of mind controlling effects anybody touches the poison or to a certain degree or you know has some sort of contact with it that has uh, pretty much obeys certain orders and now it looks like that's some one of the things that well it looks like one of the things that uh, here it is right here so Yeah, so some so we helped them escape out of prison, and afterwards we explored uh, what's his name, uh, the guy that's been slandering Holmes and Watson. Uh, uh, that's right. From I forgot his first name, Old Farley. So we went to his office at the Globe Explorer, and and there were some things that looked a, that looked rather astray in his office. Uh, it turns out that after snooping around his office, there was somebody else in there, and it turned out to be a uh, politician, Judge Beckett. And so we're gonna find out why he was at at Farley's office, and there was a secret passage that helped Farley go through the back door. So, we're gonna see about going to... Let's look at the map of London. So, we're gonna go to his office and see what's up with that. So, let's look at Farley's office, so we're gonna judge Beckett's office. So, let's take a look and see what this is he's up to. Judge Beckett's property. It's enormous. It looks very luxurious, Holmes. This man has conducted his career brilliantly. Who says that crime doesn't pay? It all depends upon for whom. You never said a truer word, Watson. Now, let's try to find a way in. What's that package you are carrying, Holmes? You haven't said a word about it all the way here. Cakes for my old aunt. <laughs> Your old aunt? Stop pulling my leg, Holmes. If you want a sensible answer, then you should ask a sensible question. Very well. I'm going to ring the doorbell. That should be an appropriate task for someone like me. No, leave it. I'll do it. Talk to her, good. She looks like Nicole Kidman from the single. Mr. Holmes, Dr. Watson. How nice to see you again. Do you remember me? Of course, Miss Lucy. How could anyone forget so pretty a smile? You are looking lovely. Watson, we have things to do. Holmes, you remember Lucy? We met her during our last investigation in Whitechapel, on the trail of Jack the Ripper. I remember only the essential details of the case. This brief meeting has been very pleasant, but sadly, I must leave you, my dear Lucy. I'll see you soon, Doctor. Okay, that's as far as I can go. Okay. All right, now let's go out to Judge Beckett's property. You know, now I'm itching to go to London all of a sudden. Oh, can I ring the doorbell?
no reply. The house seems empty. Shall we wait, Holmes? No. We shall enter discreetly. The judge's absence is a blessing. It means that we can investigate without being disturbed. You're thinking of breaking into the judge's house? Have you gone mad, Holmes? Don't worry. I shall be careful to remove any traces of our visit. Listen to yourself, Holmes. You're talking like a common criminal. It's a nice day, isn't it? Now let's see if there's a back of some sort through here. Another bank that has gone bankrupt. If this carries on, the whole country will be ruined. Classroom in there. Impossible to get through there. Impossible to get through there. Closed. I like the touch that he's still holding on to uh, to the pastries. Impossible to get through there. Closed. Oh, also, I, get, I just started getting into Starfield. I'm only about two, three hours in, but I'm actually pretty this like it so far. This be easy to pick. Let's see. I need a supple pin, Watson. Can you find me one? Very well, Holmes. And one of the things that uh, was a little bothersome for a lot of gamers was the fact that it, the game runs at 30 frames per second. It actually runs smoother than 30 frames per second. It's like not 60, but it's like around 45, almost 50. So the game is not that bad. I really, really like it. The other impressive thing that, that I just uh, that I touched upon is that um, I didn't know this until until I started playing the game that my uh, that uh, my companion, the robot Basco, called me by my name Tristan, which is really cool. So there's I read there's over 1,100 names that's already programmed in there. So any name, almost any name you put in, you will be referred to as that per, uh, as that name. Ah, oh, Lucy, you have no idea how heartlifting it is to meet you here like this, particularly at this time. Tell me what you've been doing. You've become a florist. Oh yes, Doctor, I am a florist. And I'm married now with beautiful little twin girls. Congratulations, Lucy. Enough about me. Can I help you with something? A pretty bouquet, perhaps? Not at the moment, Lucy. I really need a supple metal stem. A plant prop should do. Oh, I see. Is it to open a door or a window? Aha, Lucy. You are a surprising lady. Let's just say that the lock on the door to my flat gets stuck, and I should like to get in through the window. In that case, a prop wouldn't work. Better to use a hair grip. It's the ideal tool for an honest man who wants to get into his house without going in through the door. You are wonderful, Lucy. Goodbye, Doctor. It's a nice day, isn't it? Alright, I got the pin from Lucy. Let's see. Well, yeah, um... The main criticism I have on that game is... Uh, the companion so far, only two to three hours in, but my companion is always getting in the way of my line of sight whenever I'm trying to shoot any enemies. It's kind of frustrating. It's like all of a sudden I'm shooting at somebody and then my, my companion Vasco. I need a supple pin. My companion Vasco decides to hop in front of the enemy and try to whack him with their claws or whatever. It's like pretty rough. Hopefully they get that patch fixed up pretty soon, but other than that, the game is pretty fine. Had to do some tuning, some fine tuning on my controls this as far as the aim, easy to pick. Let's uh, see. the ADS goes, so... But other than that, I like it. I like it so far. I'd like to, I'd like to see where the game takes me. Oops.
That should be it. That's not right. Start, Start again. again. Oh. That should be it. There we go. Good. Good, we can pass. Here's the kitchen. There's enough room to feed a dozen people in here. Yes, according to the newspaper, the judge's wife also feeds her pupils, in addition to teaching them. Hmm. You'll be serving some good lunches here. Nice. Okay, I like that. Cooking oil. Cooking oil. What's this? There is something interesting here. What's that? Focus some sort? An ore lock. This isn't the place for it. What's that doing there anyways? This right, in the classroom. classroom is magnificent. These children are very lucky. I remember being lucky just you know, class like this. Better? Let's see. that all about can you hear that small metallic sound there is something inside there I am missing some information At the bottom it says a present from Lord Venegar to Miss Beckett as a keepsake of this blessed day of your marriage. Uh, let's see if there's any other information. Oh. The Big Ben. What is this? This photograph was taken on Judge Beckett's wedding day. This is a photo of the judge and his wife. Let's look around first. Another letter? Remember it so. This woman <sighs> is admirable. As she was unable to have children of her own, she decided to care for hundreds of others. This screw is stuck, it is preventing the picture from turning. The blackboard shows the last lesson given to the children, ancient Greek. 
tragedy and comedy. Sounds like the beginnings of acting in theater. Theater, yeah. I remember taking theater history class good times back in college. Olympics, marathon, the first alphabet with vowels. But that one's stuck too. This screw is stuck. It is preventing the picture from turning. So let's see if we can find something to turn that with. This is another box. Oh, two puzzles. My God. Hold on, let's look around. This might be the entire episode here. Good grief. Y'all saw me struggle with some of the. Uh... It's a sweet, sweet box. box. Probably for rewarding good pupils. Hmm. For um... the door the handle door has been removed. removed. Yeah, the past, there were some puzzles I've struggled in the past few episodes that took me like twenty to thirty minutes to solve. One of the One Greek of the books is open. Perhaps the subject of the last lesson. Everything points to someone who does not wish us to open this cabinet, which is a good enough reason for opening it. First letter of the F was a vowel. Okay, so that open, but let's, let's see here. What's this? James. This overall belongs to the young James. Sweet has fallen from a pupil's overall pocket. Well, the young James has stolen the handle to the sweet cupboard so that he can pilfer it whenever he likes. If we find his desk, we will find the handle. Man, you thief. Or what's this? It's a plan of the classroom. Thanks to this plan, we will know which desk belongs to James. The real leaders are represented by a flag. Others have a small image that corresponds to the task. For practical lessons together, the children are grouped four to a table. Oh, I miss those times. I remember, like, I'm pretty sure you guys had this too, at least from elementary school and pretty much all through, like, all grade school for that matter. But you know how some, in some cases, or in most classes, will be facing one direction. There are some class. There would also be some classes as well too, and I know you guys can relate to this. Where these tables right here will be facing each other, and that will be the group of four where they get to solve problems and talk about, talk about. Um, any subject for that matter. So the flag. Wait. Scroll me. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. Goodness. Okay, so okay, so each name. I just noticed that each name is highlighted up here. So let's start with. So uh, Alyssa and Talia are ador or adorable sisters. I can't bring them, bring myself to separate them. So they're together. Very pretty and doll-like. Very well educated. She should have a handful of too. She sits on the left of Ophelia, who's gentle and patient. has good eyesight. He surprised me when he saw an airship. So Lewis is somewhere in the back. And I think, okay, I see it now. So, Lewis, so let me see how many there's 32 classmates, so we have 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, Oh, sorry, 24, my bad. About 60. Where did I get 60? Where did I get 32 from? So 20, so 4, 8, 16, 20, 23. We're missing one person, though. 23. But okay, let's see about this. Hold on, let's look a little, let's look around a bit more. Okay, 
There's nothing here that points to that. It's a plan of the classroom. Thanks to this plan, we will know which desk belongs to James. This one's easy. So Charles is still waiting for the glasses I ordered for him. Because of the, because of that, he needs to sit in the light and close to the board. I changed his and his neighbor Eddie's places. So this would be right there. That's simple. So next is Jasper. Little Jasper is often sick. To avoid disturbing the class, seat him close to the kitchen. So, oh god, that's either... The kitchen's right near... The door to the kitchen's right near Holmes. I mean, sorry, Watson. So, Jasper. Thanks to this plan, we will know which desk belongs to James. We're gonna sit him. Shit, right there. Okay, next up, Mark. It's such a good way he can sit with anyone. Blackboard cleaning, Fergus. I'm gonna say next to Charles. Blackboard cleaning, you'd have to be close to that. Oh, that's harder. That's a little tough of Mark, so let's see. Rose and Louisa adore books and are writing a novel together in secret. I let them sit together to encourage this beautiful little secret. Louisa will be in charge of the older children's books, that, that way, she will have access to all the books. Bart is, a, is very studious. I appointed him to, to care for storage of the youngest group's books. Eddie likes to sit by the window, but he is a daydreamer. I intend for him and his neighbor to exchange places. Let's do this? Let's keep going. Elmer is very calm and reasonable. He should sit with Pierce, but he, because he has a good influence on him. Pierce. Right here. Pierce is one of those children who takes a little time to accept the rules, but he's a nice boy and I like her. Put a stop to any problems by putting him near my desk, behind Anastasia, and next to little Elmer, who is very mature for his age. So, Pierce is somewhere, I want to say, within these five seats right there, but let's, let's go back. Alright, let's, let's take it slow. Young Damien is very smart, safe from his wretched life. He was working in a textile factory and had lost the use of his right. Oh, that sucks. He is now one of the brightest in the class. Always put him on the left side of a table to allow him to write comfortable with his left hand. So it's one of these three right here. Simon and James come from the same village. I put them together. Simon on James left. What about that? Little leader. Middle row, Justin. I don't know if we go with that right there. That's easy. Alyssa and Talia are. Okay, we're going to left one. Very pretty and doll. Uh, okay, no. Lewis. Lewis has good eyesight. So he's somewhere in the back row. Lewis is going to be somewhere in the back row for him to have good eyesight and Talia. Caring for a plant. Okay, that's Talia. Uh, there's a plant symbol, so that's that's an obvious one. Okay. Aaron has suddenly grown, so I put him in the back behind Fergus, who is tall as him. So he's one of the back row guys as well. Lloyd is there, so window window row Lloyd is right there. That's that's easy. Philia on the first row behind my desk, between my desk and the board. So I, mm, I put Ophelia in the first row between my desk and the board. She has a very quiet voice and she would blush every time I asked her to repeat herself. One of these two seats. Let's put her there for now. 
Orson. Since the arrival of Anastasia, Orson seems captivated by her. I ought to make him change places because when he looks at the board, she's in his field of vision. And it disturbs him, but I can't make him mind. Puppy love is such a little thing. Moreover, he has stopped chatting with his neighbor, Bart. Okay, let's see. Pierce is one of the strong Next to little uh, Wait. Royal Leader Taylor, Kitchen Lion, so okay, that's a good good giveaway. Okay, all right, let's, let's see, Mark, you can sit with anyone. That, that doesn't give me enough. So. about student organizations in the United States of America. Okay, so Anastasia, very pretty doll. Like she sits on the left of Ophelia. Oh, okay. So right there. Okay, which is why she needs to speak up a little bit louder. Okay. So Anastasia's right there. Okay. Lewis is somewhere in the back. Oh, he's on the window. The big clue I just I missed out. He surprised me when he saw an airship in the sky. So this gave us the opportunity for a listen. About the so there we go. All right, making some progress. Listen to their adorable sisters. Oh, there we go. All right, we're making some progress. All right, let's keep going. Since the arrival of Anastasia, except the board. Orson is either this seat or this seat. Oh, oh, Bart. Okay, so hold on. Bart's the clue. Hold on. Uh, where's Bart? I still don't get that one. I want to say Bart is here. I appointed him to, t to care for storage of the younger... Hold on. Let me look at the bookshelf. Honest, Kepler, I just noticed that. Okay. It's a plan. Thanks to it.
this side of the table, so I want to see that. Writing a novel together. If they're writing a novel together, I want to say this. Louisa and Rose. And then Bart, it would be one of these two seats because the one giveaway was who was it no orson yeah it was orson so i would say this is orson oh okay oh wow okay so if i get something right there'll be a check mark okay okay that should be right then oh you know what i just noticed the blue outlines Blackboard clean. Oh! I just noticed the, the, the brush on the table, so that's Fergus right there. Okay. Perfect. So when I get four... Okay, okay, okay. I'm making progress here. So Pierce, Elmer, perfect. All right, and then now James, Simon and James. Where did I put Simon at? Oh, this isn't right. Hold on, something's not right. There we go. Okay, good, good, good. Eddie, Char Eddie Charles. <laughs> Charles and Eddie, like the singer, the singing duo. This might be it. Simon on James' left, so Simon. Perfect, James. And then, which leaves Mark. You can sit with anyone. And then, last but not least. This blank spot. James is right there. Let's open James's desk. Perfect. Wait, what was it again? It's a it's plan. plan. Look. All right. Second seat from the back on the right. Oh, I like that puzzle. That was a really good puzzle. I'm not gonna lie. And there are the doorknobs. Perfect. Booyah! Open sesame. And what does it say? It's a sp All right, let's see right here. Another puzzle. Find a logical sequence in Roman numerals using all the available shafts. None of, none of the numbers should be greater than 10. Each sum must be larger than the previous one. You can use X only once. Ooh. Ooh, okay, how am I going to do this?
Oh, one, two, three, four, so, so, so six. What's a number? So it must be larger than the previous one. So this is six. So three plus three is six in this one. The, there's the addition sign in the middle of this one. So this one is blank plus three. So three plus three equals six. And no, no, none of the numbers should be greater than ten. Three plus three, six, seven. So four plus three. Let's see how we could do. We can do a four on this. I V. Oh. Duh. There we go. And then that's seven. Then eight. Maybe ten. If I can do a ten like this. Then ten minus two would be eight. And then nine. That should be ix. Let's see if this works. Wait, no, 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 hold on. What's this other one doing here? Oh, lock. I think I know what to do with the ore lock, but let's see. Can I use it like this? This screw is stuck. It is preventing the picture from turning. to this puzzle here. Alright, so the first photo. The most romantic evening of my life in the heat of Bombay. The most romantic, most romantic evening of my life in the heat of Bombay. This is a photo of the judge and his wife. The clock points to 6 p.m. Interesting. 6, eh? Okay, that's the first photo. 6. There is some connection. This is in Bombay, India. So that's... I gotta move the cursor. It is a it wedding, wedding present. It must have a have special, special meaning for Miss Beckett. This photograph was taken on Judge Beckett's wedding day. This photograph was taken on Judge Beckett's wedding day. This photograph was taken on Judge Beckett's wedding day. This one's pointing at 10. Then, the judge got married in London and early in the morning as it is just 10 a.m.
uh, six. The clock points to 6 p.m. Interesting. Or maybe military time? Let's see. Oh, yeah. Perfect. There we go. There we are. It is simplicity itself. A key. Finders, keepers. <laughs> I got the achievement for opening this box. All right, now let's keep on moving, but we still need to figure out how to turn that blackboard. This screw is stuck. It is preventing the picture from turning. This screw is stuck. It is preventing the picture from turning. What the hell do I do now? Well, let's keep on going. These books have to be used for something. Please take note, Watson. We are making headway. How do we know what this means? There is no point in visiting the upper floors. We know from the newspapers that this building is deserted, so there is no risk of anyone coming down and surprising us. There are no children in every school, from what I can see. Undoubtedly, the judge's office. It is double locked. It would be better not to force this door, nor break a window. Judge Beckett could return at any moment. You're right, but he surely must have left a spare with somebody he trusts, of course. And I think I have that spare. Aha! We are in the judge's private office, Holmes. What are you going to do? Turn everything upside down? That is a distinct possibility. I will not leave until I have found what I am looking for. Am I stuck? I'm stuck. Okay, there we go. Good God. What the hell? I couldn't move for a moment. Oh, let's go back here. Something's bothering me with this blackboard. Let me go back. I remember there was some cooking oil that he mentioned about it. Can we mess with the cooking oil? Oh. A desire to cook. This screw is stuck. It is preventing the picture from turning. Oh, yeah, that should work. Greek letters. Copy them down, dear fellow. Very well, Holmes. Good. 
An ore lock. It must be a souvenir. It's the third one. It's going off those. Beckett, honorary member. This must be the symbol of an organization to which the judge belongs. Look at this symbol. It must surely be very important to Judge Beckett. The judge used to row. A souvenir from the University of New York. That's the university where Judge Beckett studied. The young Beckett and his friends rowing. Yeah, a lot of Ivy League, a lot of Ivy League schools and real big. Blind around. justice. From whence his ignorance? Amusing. But trophies. The judge must be very proud of them. A Habano Clorissimo cigar. Don't forget your cakes when we leave, Holmes. Of course, Watson. This door is very solid, and there's no lock. The best thing to do is to carry on exploring this place, Holmes. I can make out a mechanism at the bottom of each of these holes. Looks like a rowing paddle machine of some sort. Let's see if this works. I can make out a mechanism at the bottom of each of these holes. I can make out a mechanism at the bottom of each of these holes. These oars can turn. Watson, this really is the most ingenious system. It controls the opening mechanism. Very ingenious. But do we need to enter? Judge Beckett is very rich, and the room perhaps only holds valuable objects which he wishes to protect from thieves. Doors are made to be opened, my dear fellow. That they are. See. I am missing I some information. This gentleman certainly likes oars, to the point of exhibiting them in his office. This note must surely be very important to Judge Beckett. The list of symbols of the American universities. University of New York. That's for France. It's going to be A Greek letter. So new. The list of symbols. The list of symbols of the American universities. Yeah, let me take a picture of this one, particularly the University of New York.
That way I don't have to go back and forth. Alright, let's see. So, University of New York has... Five U five, so it's not fun. So I'm looking at it right here, University the of New York. Of, of the American, American universities. universities. It's not five U five because there's no new in there. And then what's the round green one? I'm looking at the second symbol, the round green one. So it could be. Zai? Who's Zai Alpha? This note must surely be very important to Judge Beckett. So new... Hmm. Let's do new... I'm looking at the New Gamma uh, Alpha. Okay, that didn't work. No, that did not work. Okay. Alright, next up, New Psi. New Psi Delta. Let's see if that works. The best thing. Okay, that don't work either. So there's one more. I am missing some. I am. I am. I am missing. There's one more symbol. So I did news. Not the green one, but the red shield. New Zeta. Pi. Oh, that worked. Good. Change it to the corresponding letters of okay, new and then Zeta.
There we go. And then pi. There we go, that should be good. Well done, Holmes. What's this? The secret room full of stuff. Incredible. Masses and masses of files. Holmes, these files, these cards, these reports, they're all about you. So it would seem. Your whole career is mapped out here, investigation by investigation. Look. A detailed report about your work in Whitechapel during the Ripper affair. And there, your relationship with a certain A. Lupin. And here, the details of your methods and transcriptions of your conversations with the greatest violent criminals. My God, look at the titles of the files. Fraud, deception, corruption, forgery, murder. What does it all mean? Oh no, another puzzle. Quiet. Let me concentrate. Concentrate? This judge has the reputation of being the most honest in the kingdom, and he has built an overwhelming pile of documents as high as Big Ben about you, and you talk of concentration? To open his chest, to what end? Quiet. Holmes, answer me. What is the real reason for our being here? Did you know what we were going to find before we came here? Evidently. So that is the real reason behind this break-in. You're only interested in the contents of the chest. All the rest of it was nothing more than lies and manipulation. The most important is the one in the chest, Watson. What do you think, Holmes? What the hell? Oh my god. Grip the balls by color. Wait, what was it? Grip the colors by grip the balls by color. One color per square. Jeez. Holy shit, I figured it out. 
So one, so there's green, blue, and red. One has to be green. The other one has to be red. The middle has to be four because there's four ball, four blue balls, <laughs> four blue balls in the left. So I got to figure out how to. Man, I got to really realign this properly. Let's see. I think I got it, I think I got it. There, I have what I came for. Show me the file, Holmes. It is unnecessary, Watson. It's a file about you, isn't it? Is it so compromising that you don't dare show it to me? You came here to steal the research about you carried out by Judge Beckett, Holmes. It was the only thing that interested you. We'll see about that later. We must put everything back in its place. No one must know that we've been here. Help me. Go and put the paddles back into their original position, and I'll deal with the rest. But that's the plan of my flat. I mean, our flat. Quick, Watson, we must get out of this house. Immediately. What? But... Be quick, man, it's urgent. Because of you, we have to flee like common criminals, which it seems we have now become. I only hope that the game is worth the risk. Show me the file right now. Let's find a cab as quickly as possible. We can't stay here. Why are you in such a hurry? You... Wait! Look over there. Judge Beckett. Yes, it's him. Let's go and talk to him. It's too late. Do as you wish, Holmes. I need to hear an explanation about what was in that armored room. I'm going. No, stay here. That's an order. Your giving orders changes nothing. I'm going to talk to Judge Beckett, and you will not stop me. Holy crap. Luciana Watson. Watson. Watson, are you all right? My God, what happened? Lucy. No, is Lucy oh, dead? Lucy, poor girl. I must do something. Holmes, I need your help here. Forgive me, Watson, but I'm afraid that I must leave now. Leave? What the so devil do you mean? Awkward. Holmes, come back here. Holmes!
Holmes, are you here? Show yourself. No one. Perhaps it is just as well. I don't know what my reaction to him would have been. How dreadful. The poor Miss Lucy hanging between life and death. Luckily, I was able to place her in good hands. But how the devil did Holmes know that a bomb was about to go off? And what's more, he seems to have taken advantage of the tragedy. No more Judge Beckett. No more compromising documents. No more proof. There is nothing at all. Submarines plans, what? How dreadful. No, I don't want to go to bed yet. I must wait for Holmes. The paper Holmes used to wrap that mysterious package that he left at the judge's house just a few minutes before the explosion. was the package. Loyal Toby. Holmes would have shown us, wouldn't he? I wonder. What's this? Opium. What's his pipe? So, Holmes took it with him. I wonder if he would have fired at those fiends in the opium den. A few days ago, such doubts would never have crossed my mind. But today, I find myself asking if he could have killed in cold blood. Locked. Locked. And this is how my dear friend and colleague treats his client's letters. No, I don't want to go to bed yet. I must wait for Holmes. A fountain pen, just like the rat killers. Today, that dangerous maniac is free. And what's more, it is Holmes's fault. That inquiry at Westgate was a total failure. These events have shattered my nerves. I should sleep for a few hours. Or at least, I should try. Locked. So he has the fountain pen and the opium. Could Holmes himself been poisoned? Doctor! There you are. I was poisoned. By whom? Ah, you know him very well. That's a curse. That's a curse, I think. A brilliant mind, but so evil. He has hurt so many of us. Who are you talking about? Home? So hot. Flames. The heat is unbearable. Walter, I beg you. Where is he, that devil? One day he will have to answer to a higher power. Oh, I need air. I need water. Ease my pain. Who did this to you? Watson! Is that Lucy? Lucy, you are wounded. I can't find my children, Doctor. Find them for me. But I beg you, keep them away from Mr. Holmes. Lucy, no. Why do you say that? Let me help you. 
You are so kind. It is too late for me, but you can still save yourself. Holmes, I know you were in there. Holmes, open this door immediately. I think that I would rather not. Tell me the truth, Holmes. I need to know. You have no right to keep the truth from me. Tell me! I am sorry, Watson. Open this door, or I will break it down! Do what you like. The door is not locked. What are you doing? No! Holmes! No, it is impossible. That's pajamas, though. <laughs> Going on. Police! Yes, yes just one moment, I'm coming. Dr. Watson, is Mr. Holmes here? Inspector Baines, what? Is he here or not? No, I do not believe so. Open the door, quickly. You're going to have to come with me, Doctor. We have a lot of questions to ask you about your relationship with Sherlock Holmes. And also regarding your movements early yesterday evening. It's empty, Inspector. Get dressed. We're leaving in two minutes. Yes, I'm coming. I'll do all I can to help you. I would also like to find the answers to some of my own questions. Sergeant, I'd like you to stay here with some of your men and search the place from top to bottom. If there is one clue here that will lead me to him, then I want you to find it. Doctor, you must understand that I am sorry about this situation. But if, as we believe, Holmes is a murderer, I won't hesitate to arrest him. What did you say? A murderer? You heard me, Doctor. The Bishop's murderers informed us that they were following orders from Sherlock Holmes. you got to be kidding me. Oh, of course they ransacked the place. Baines and his men have ransacked the place during my interrogation at Scotland Yard. I would never have imagined that I should be put through such an ordeal. I have always fought on the side of justice, but to be interrogated for hours like a common criminal, having to proclaim my innocence over and over again. Baines is convinced that Holmes is guilty, but who can blame him? Everything seems to point to him. I had thought that the worst was behind me, but here I am as a suspected accomplice. All I need to do is to find Holmes, and when I find him, I'll... I'll decide. I'm going to search the flat. Perhaps Baines overlooked some clues. And you know what? We're going to end the episode over here. We don't know what's going on right now. I mean, well, aside from the cops from Scotland Yard ransacking the home, but Holmes was acting really weird when we got to Judge Beckett's residence. And I think the fountain pen, oh, they took it. The fountain pen and the the opium. Oh yeah, they took that too. Uh, I have, might have something to do with it because if you remember the notes, the the poison was based on the way the poison was described. There's some sort of mind controlling characteristics, and I don't know if Holmes got affected by that, which led to the bombing of Judge Beckett's residence. I mean, were those really pastries in the in the box that he was carrying? I'm pretty sure they weren't, which led to the explosion. So this next episode, we're going to investigate uh, even further. I mean, Watson's all alone right now, so hopefully he'll get to find um, hopefully he'll get to find Sherlock somewhere down the long run. Uh, based on the dreams, we have an idea of where he's at, but, but we'll see. So next episode, we'll check that out and hopefully. Okay.